Hey, good morning. Some people ask me, how did you find your niche of what you wanted to do with your massage therapy and body work practice, Greg? So it all started way before massage therapy practice. I had a lot of experience receiving massage during my compulsive disorder with the sport of triathlon back in the 90s. Um, I was having a guy come over to the house and we had a very good rapport because he came from a running background and so did I. So he understood the runner and how body work helps with the runner. So it made it easy for me to go to massage school because I already knew what good was or a great therapy treatment plan was. Uh, my mother being a physical therapist, I got to grow up when that dinner time conversation was around rehab, uh, hanging out as a kid. I got to uh, hang out in her uh, rehab facility sometimes just to get a ride home. So uh, I understood it. It was the environment. Now, if you threw me at that time getting out of massage school to a spa, I didn't have any background in it. All right. I didn't know it, but I did go out to Vail, Colorado and got thrown in a, in a spa situation and I absolutely hated it. I lasted about two months before I decided to go out on my own work with a, a sports chiropractic medicine guy that worked with um, a lot of the downhill skier, skiers and some mogul competitors. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. But Vail, Colorado is a very active scene. So I kind of blended into that scene and got to uh, work with a lot of active people out in Vail, Colorado before I came back to Tampa. So my suggestion, if you're looking to find your niche, you've got to learn the niche as you develop your skills. So if you want to be in that relaxation old type of stuff with uh, stones, heated stones, hot stones, you better go get about a dozen or two dozen treatments from a wide variety of uh, practitioners to understand what that's all about because you're really not gonna learn that situation in school because you're learning from someone who's also learning too. So you're not getting that up, you know, the high end of performance or the skills from someone who's been doing it for a while. So always go learn from experienced and uh, well seasoned uh, therapists no matter what niche you're trying to do. So if you're trying to do sports massage, you need to go learn from the best sports massage guys or gals. You need to go receive treatment from them, right? You've got to practice what you preach. I continually receive therapy two times a month. i trading right now with uh, someone who's an educator, who, who's got experience in educating, and, and I pick her brain while she's working on me and vice versa. So there's a lot of uh, benefits from going out and receiving. If you think you're going to come out of school and just knowing with what you've got in school is going to get you somewhere, it's really not the right approach. You've got to immerse yourself and become an expert by receiving and hanging around uh, other people that are way more advanced from you. Have a great day. I hope this helps.